What's going on guys? Austin Zayback here with another luxury house tour. Now we're about to tour this state of the art property right behind me and it was actually designed by the world famous photographer Peter Lick and it's just 10 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip. Now this property features one bedroom, three bathrooms. It is 2,220 square feet and it is currently on the market for $2,999,000. Now, I'm excited to take you into the tour, but first, I want to thank the listing agent, Gavin Ernstone, with Simply Vegas, for letting us tour this spectacular listing. Now, as always, all of his information will be down in the description below. Now, let's go ahead and get the tour started. I've known each other for quite a while um, and those who do know know he's probably the most famous photographer in the world an incredible eye for detail uh, an incredible eye for design etc that's what he's done his entire life go back about 15 years he started developing homes that he owned that, that he lived in uh, and always had great fun doing that and it was really a non-profit he would just do it for the fun of it etc we go back about five years and Pete decided to start his own construction company, Jewel Homes, and actually build his dream homes in an area where he felt needed redeveloping in Vegas, super, super close to the Strip, very, very close to all the amenities. We've got T-Mobile, we've got the Raiders Stadium, we've got the airport, everything's within about 10 minutes of here. So a really great location. Pete went out, bought all of the land in this area. We have 100 lots in total, and just building these incredible houses. Right now, the house we're going through is at the end of phase two. We've got phase three starting very, very shortly. And as we'll see as we go through the house, just amazing, next level design. Obviously, there was a huge award last year in Nevada for this house, and we didn't enter the house into the contest, as it were. It was picked. It's just next level, and he has an incredible eye for it. Paired up with the architect, Eric Strain, with Assembly Studios, and those guys just did, obviously, incredible, incredible design. ahead and talk about the exterior of the property for just a minute before we go ahead and we make our way inside. Now I love the way that this property is positioned. It's actually at the back of a cul-de-sac so you have a ton of privacy when you're actually pulling in to your property. Now I love all the desert landscape throughout and we have an actual Scandinavian farmhouse design which will be very clear and distinct as we tour the interior of the property. Now one of the first things that I notice when we're looking at the exterior of the property is all of the matte black aluminum throughout the entire exterior of the home. Now I love this garage door. We have the very modern industrial glass with the steel on the actual garage door itself. Now let's go ahead and make our way towards the front of the property. So as we enter right here, I love what they have done. I love that you've got this massive industrial steel door here as we walk kind of right through the front entrance. And then I love all of the wood here. And the wood actually carries all the way out into the backyard, which I'll show you guys here in just a minute. Now let's go ahead and make our way right into the main front door of the main residence. Now, as we take a look at this door, this is an extremely heavy door, completely industrial. And I love all of the wood and everything that they've done here. Now, one of the first things that I noticed as soon as we walk into the property is this awesome piece from Peter Lick himself. Now, the property, it seems, was maybe designed, I mean, this is a, an actual phenomenal representation of the property that we're about to tour. All of the steel, and it's just such a beautiful piece. Now, one thing that I do wanna point out here is when we come in, all of the floors are actually concrete slabs. Now, another thing with the concrete is it's 100% heated throughout the entire home. Now, when we walk over here, as we make our way into the kitchen, another thing that we notice is that we have all this wood paneling throughout the entire home. Now, the wood paneling is not just on the walls, 
but it actually goes all the way up into this massive ceiling and it goes all the way up to the very top and even above all of the exposed beams. So you don't actually see any drywall throughout the entire property, which I think is a very unique design. Very, very cool. They did a phenomenal job at that. As we make our way over into the kitchen, one of the things that I notice is all of these light fixtures. Now, uh, I was actually talking to the listing agent a little while ago, and all of these light fixtures were actually taken out of a ship, and they were actually restored, and they were placed in the property. We've got three pendants above the actual countertop here in the kitchen, and then we have another pendant actually above the coffee table, hanging all the way from one of the massive exposed beams right here in the living area. Now, what I love about this kitchen is that it is not something that you ever see on a property. This is truly a one-of-a-kind property that we're touring here today, and it is just so unique. We've got all of the steel throughout the entire home, so as you can tell, it's extremely, extremely durable, and I love that. We have all of the Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances, and we even have a vice on the end of the counter. Now, I'm not entirely sure what you would use that for, but I think it is a very cool touch. Now, what I love about this home is that all of the doors are actually pocket doors and they actually open all the way into the wall. And I'll show you that right now. Now, another really cool thing about the property is that every single door has these actual wood panels that will actually shut and completely black out the entire home, including all of the windows, which I'll show you here in just a minute. we come on up we've got the loft here when Pete was living in this house he actually used this as his bedroom he liked it to no be way. open we're not sure if that's to everybody's taste sure. so we do have we relocated the master bedroom into one of the other spaces okay. but just really really cool loft. if you look at this floor it comes from an incredible company called Indo Teak Design it's all reclaimed teak it's incredibly durable you can beat yeah. the crap out of it and it's absolutely fine and then again all of this industriality you've got this uh, cool piece here which it's works so as cool. a vanity you yeah. know just really really lovely spot so again it's usable as a bedroom if that's the vibe that you're going for uh, there's an additional loft storage area up the top yep. and then you're open to all the downstairs i love the wood i mean the again the attention to detail is out of this world yeah absolutely you know? and again from a, an ecological standpoint when you're not here these completely close off and, and blacken out the whole house. Wow. There's a, a blind that goes in there and then all the windows on the house have these same shutters. So just a, a really great way to shut it all down as a lock and leave and you don't have to worry about the place getting too hot or if you're a, a light sleeper, you can darken it down and get some sleep. I love that. It remind, I almost feel like we're in like a bunker, like, yep. you know, in the middle of nowhere and uh, it just, it's a, a really unique feeling. Yeah, in here. very, very much yeah. so. A bunker with some light to it, right. for sure. Exactly. But yeah, and we'll go on and we'll check out the other additional areas. There's an incredible backyard in this place, you know, huge pool, all of those things, which is what uh, Jewel Homes is all about in their design. Awesome, let's go check it out. Let's go and do it. As we make our way back here, right off to the side of the kitchen, we actually have a nice little wine cellar here, which is really cool. And I noticed this light here, which is really cool. It almost looks like some sort of old like traffic signal or a stoplight or something to that effect, which again, you know, Peter Lick is somebody that he was designing this as he went. This all came from Peter Lick's brain. You know, this isn't something that he had fully planned out when he started developing the property. It's something that really kind of transpired as they were actually developing the property itself. So right off the back of the kitchen here, we've got a nice powder room. And again, we see all this same wood paneling that we saw in the main house and in the kitchen all the way throughout, not only on the walls, but also in the ceiling itself. And again, look at how unique this is. All the way from the top of what I believe to be uh, maybe a keg or a barrel uh, that they're actually using for the sink, which I believe is just a really, really cool design. We have all of this steel, like that picture I showed you in the front of the airplane. Uh, this entire home reminds me of that picture itself, right? From the light fixtures to the mirrors, 
to the vanity, uh, the sink, and really just everything about the entire property. Even the door handle, as we can see, we've got these old school keys, and I believe that is just a really, really cool touch. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just make our way right over here to the left. And as we walk around over here, we've got uh, a laundry room here. Now, we've got a little cutout here in the wall, and this is actually all the equipment for all of the heated floors throughout the entire property. And I believe that's very cool that they left that exposed. I think it just adds a ton of character to this home. So uh, this could be a laundry room, a butler's pantry, or whatever the case might be. Now, right back here, we just got a little linen closet and there's not really much to see there. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the main living area of the home. Now, as we walk back out here into the main living area, as I told you guys a little while ago, we actually have these beautiful shutters on every single window throughout the entire property. So as you can tell, if I shut all of these, we can totally black out the entire home, which I actually love. Obviously, it's uh, very, very efficient, okay? So as we walk over into the main living area, we've got this massive fireplace, okay? And uh, I, I believe that just adds a ton of character to the property. It's a very old school kind of rustic fireplace. And this was actually the light that I was telling you about a little while ago. And this is another kind of uh, statement piece. As soon as you walk through that front door, you look at it and you're like, wow, like Peter Lick thought that up, he dreamt it up, and here it is, right? Right out of a ship, restored, and hanging at least 20 to 25 feet from the exposed beams up in the actual ceiling itself. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way outside. And again, the main structure was where Peter Lick lived upstairs for the master bedroom. Now, this sliding glass door again goes all the way and it's a pocket door into the wall. Now, when we come right across here, we've got this beautiful deck and I love the deck here. We've got a nice sitting area and a stairway that goes up and the architecture is unbelievable. I love what they did with this massive, it's almost like uh, a fence, but hanging uh, between the two structures. And I think that's actually really, really neat. Not something you ever see. Now this pocket door goes all the way into the wall. And this could really be used as anything. Now, uh, the way that they have this set up right now is it's actually set up as like an office, okay? Uh, we have all the concrete floors in here. And then we have a different kind of wood on the walls. I really like that a lot. Now, we do have the same wood on the ceiling that we had on the walls of the main home. And I love the light fixtures in here. Beautiful, beautiful light fixtures. And I love the way that they designed it. This is so, so cool, so neat. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way right upstairs here. And this is the actual master bedroom, believe it or not. And this is really cool. So we've got all these concrete stairs going up. I love the uh, steel railings that we have with all the aluminum siding of the home. It's just beautiful. So we have a beautiful loft up here. And this is a, a loft that you could really do whatever you want with it. Uh, again, when we're up here, we can really just kind of take in all the aluminum. Uh, if we actually look real close, we can see the entire Las Vegas strip from here. This is really, really cool. As we make our way right into the primary bedroom, we walk in and we have all of that same teak flooring that we had over in the loft of the main property. The first thing I noticed is all of the same exposed beams that we saw in the main property. Also, with exposed J boxes, which Peter Lick actually did on the fly. Now, we have all the same wood paneling. We have windows on both sides of the bedroom. And as we walk in here, we have a very similar shower to what we saw in the loft of the primary property with all the exposed stone and all of the concrete. Very spacious bathroom with all the same steel, same vanity, and a massive primary bedroom closet with all the wood paneling throughout. our way back into the backyard i love the way that again the same that we have in the front yard we have all the desert landscape we have an extremely long pool this pool's got to be at least 30 to 50 feet long this pool is just massive now we've got a 100 percent aluminum pool house which i'll take you right over here and show you right now we've got a really long gas fire pit right here so as we make our way we actually have all that same wood kind of pool decking that we saw in between the den 
that primary bedroom and that main structure leading right into the pool house over here. And I love the way that they did this. They've got, they left pretty much all of the exposed uh, two by fours in the pool house. You have all the exposed J boxes and all the exposed electrical uh, conduit throughout the entire pool house, which I think just gives it a ton of character, especially when we're looking at kind of that Scandinavian design. And one thing that I do love, I will say, is I stand way back here and I've got uh, the jacuzzi, I've got the pool, and you look at the back of the home right here, there is nothing that I've ever seen that looks like this particular property right here with all of the aluminum and then the way that they designed and the way that the Peter uh, you know, must have dreamt that up in his mind, but they've got these big metal beams that basically connect the main primary home to the other uh, part of the home on the right hand side with the staircase and everything. It is not something that I've ever seen before. And I think it is just beautiful. I think it is 100% one of a kind. Thank you again so much for having us. Thank you so much for coming. It was so good Thanks. to see you. Uh, and I, obviously, I love the opportunity to get these houses exposed to the world because I think they're certainly things that people need to see. They are definitely things people need to see. And honestly, I don't think a lot of people have ever seen anything like this in person. This is my first time ever seeing anything so spectacular. I'm so glad so. that you enjoyed it. We'll do a couple of our other projects as well. So looking forward to doing those. Sure will. And thank you again. Thanks again.